Hi, my name is Russ, and I'm going to show you how to use uh, or how to install the Trigger CMD agent on Arch Linux. So uh, Terry King asked uh, asked about it uh, because he noticed, you know, Arch Linux doesn't support RPM or Deb, and those are the two package types I I produce for Linux. Um, so yeah, the way to do it is just to to clone the the source straight from the GitHub repo. Um, and that's the same kind of solution you can use for a few different like um, non-standard um, OS's like 32-bit uh, Windows even um, you can as long as you can get Node.js on that OS you can you can run the agent you don't um, you generally won't get the the GUI in that case but you'll you'll still be able to run the agent and you'll just have to edit the uh, the commands.json file manually. Um, so let me show you the process. I'm not going to install uh, a whole VM with um, Arch Linux or, or Manjaro, which I guess is based on um, Arch Linux, um, just because I can do the same sort of thing with uh, Docker, which I figure some of the some users might be interested in anyway. Um, how to use Docker? And I, I gave um, I gave Terry some instructions, which I'll use right now. Um, but I think he's stuck on this, um, you know, editing the commands. So I'll show that too. Um, so I'll get started here. So doc, oh, let's see here. This is how you run um, Arch Linux first of all, and then um, it gets a, a Bash shell within our this um, Arch Linux um, Docker container. Um, it's like it's basically a full Linux running uh, within Hyper-V, uh, within a Hyper-V um, uh, VM that runs Docker. Uh, long story, doesn't matter probably. Um, so here I am in Bash in Arch Linux. If you are running this for the first time, it'll take a little bit longer because it actually has to download. But I already had it, you know, cached on my computer. So I'll run these commands. The first command just. Um, you know, updates the the uh, kind of the package Pacman package system, um, and then um, I'm going to actually add Nano for our editor. Um, so it's installing Node.js, npm, which is the Node you know package manager, Git, so that I can download the the source code, and then Nano, so I can edit the commands.json file. All right, um, now I'll. Clone the oops yeah I'll clone the source code repo for the um, for the agent and then uh, oh yeah this is gonna this part takes a little time the npm install oops and you'll get some warnings at the bottom but you can safely ignore them. Um, and then once that's done, you can uh, actually run the agent, and it'll prompt for the token, um, which I'm just using the de my demo user, so I don't mind everybody seeing my token. So yeah, npm is installing all the uh, dependencies for the agent. Give that a minute. So this doesn't support X windows, um, so you won't get a, like I said, you won't get a GUI, so you'll have to use um, Nano or something to uh, to edit the commands. All right, so here I, I'm running this command, which basically just runs this uh, JavaScript uh, file with dash dash console as the parameter, which tells it to run the agent in foreground mode. Um, and 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 in text mode, so it's prompting you for uh, the token, which I'll go here. I got this new te copy token button I can use. Oops, I just paid, I just copied console here. Copy token. Oh no, is that not working? Oh, I'll just do it the old school way, I guess. All right. That is running the agent, and so I can find my agent under 
my computer. That's just the the Docker computer name. Um, it's, it doesn't have GNOME on it, so I'm not going to be able to run that. Um, so I'm going to need to now. Um, if if you type cd, it'll go to your uh, home folder, which is root in this case. And if you do ls, you can you don't see any folders, but if you do ls ls dash al, you'll see the trigger cmd data folder because dot you know folders with dot um, are hidden. So if I go in there, I'll see some um, some files. And the the one I'm going to edit is um, commands .json. Oops, I'm used to vi. If you hold down shift and press the down arrow, you can uh, select uh, a line. And then if you do uh, control K, which is uh, right here. If you do control K, you can cut it. And then you can uh, control U for paste. You know, if you want to make like multiple lines, like so. Um, and actually, I'm just going to edit one of the existing lines. But I just wanted to show you how you could do that. Um, I'll edit this line here. Let's just run a you know a basic command to just prove that we're running a command. Um, I'm gonna call it test. Um, it's just gonna run date greater than a file which I'll put in temp. Call it date dot text. And we want this to run in the foreground because um, our agent is is when we run it with dash dash console it only runs as foreground in the foreground um, let's see voice I mean I, I won't even bother um, giving up giving it a voice um, uh, field value because uh, I'm not going to use Alexa or Google um, assistant on the, in this case so let's see here control X for exit and yes oops hold on Gotta read the screen. All right, I saved it. Let me just cat it so you can see it's there. So I just this is, oops, this is my command right here, this test one. So if I refresh this page, oh, I didn't uh, run the command. I didn't run the agent yet. Um, let's see here. So I think it's uh, node source agent dash dash console there we go so I added my test um, command so if I refresh there it is and I can just trigger it view my runs it looks like it ran um, and I'll just kill it, uh, cancel out of here and um, cat that file date.txt and there it is my, my date in um, UTC um, it's my UTC is my uh, uh, my time zone right now, so you know the time doesn't match my clock. Doesn't matter. Um, so you can see it ran the, ran the command. Uh, that's basically how this agent has to work on a uh, a non-standard um, setup where all you get is you know Node to run the agent with. You don't get a, a, a GUI because um, you can't use one of the, um, you know, one of the uh, standard install packages like the RB, RPM or Deb. Um, so that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I can redo this video if necessary if I miss something major. Um, thanks for watching.